We've tried to keep it as simple as possible um, to obviously minimise the chances of breakdown. Uh, what we've got there in here though, in the, in the brains of uh, the boat, is the main GPS. Um, there are no electronic charts for the area, it's all uncharted where we're going to. So basically that's going to give us a white screen and maybe the outli um, outline of an island. But what we can do is use old charts to put in a, a position and we can input that into this unit and that will give us our direction um, to that point. So that's really all we can use this for. What we can also use it for, of course, is a, um, a compass. We can't use magnetic compasses up at the pole uh, because it's, it's just too close to the pole and they will uh, wander too much. Um, so we have to rely on GPS for our direction. We've also got the VHF radios here. Um, that's obviously for inter-crew uh, communication. If we need to send a party out to scout a new route, um, we'll have a look over the ice, they can keep in touch with each other. Or keep in touch with uh, search and rescue aircraft if needs be. Hopefully it won't happen. And how will you be keeping in contact with your lovely girlfriend? With my lovely girlfriend's true satellite phone, fortunately. Um, we have a big satellite up the front, we'll also have satellite phones. And hopefully we'll be able to Skype so I can see uh, the birth, or maybe not the birth, but sh shortly thereafter with my first child. Ah, oh, how um, sweet. Yeah, I know, which I'm obviously very excited about. And uh, it'll be uh, good to see you uh, shortly after. Also got the, uh, the switch panel here, All, again very simple. Instruments, navigation lights, satcom, water maker, and sockets. I've uh, got the sockets here for charging all the cameras, iPods, and whatever other necessary equipment we might have. And down the bottom, the battery monitors. Um, so, as I say, very simple system. Um, should hopefully not go wrong. Moving outside, we've got the readouts. As Billy will tell you, having rode an ocean, these become pretty invaluable. You're just constantly watching the speed creeping up to 0.1 of a knot, or, and it, all, it becomes almost an obsession watching them. Wind speed indicator and direction and the top one would be using for depth, um, which is obviously handy for coming into shoals.